in the morning. So in these classes that I am doing uh, for bringing awareness um, about depression, about uh, mental health um, issues, um, I wanted to share about the need that every one of us has for nourishment. And nourishment is part of uh, nourishing ourselves. Is part of care about ourselves. And nourishment can feel like a cozy blanket, like a cozy clothes. Uh, when we take a bath, a bath tub, uh, it can be nourishment for the water. Is when we feel that we are contained, and that is uh, nourishment. So that is nourishing our heart. Sometimes we are struggling in life with hard situations. Uh, it can be like a, you lost a person that you love and you're grieving. And a good um, way to process the grieving is with nourishment to yourself. So in that way you are putting water in your heart and you are uh, processing that emotions. Yeah. In the same way when you uh, have a breakdown in a relationship or you have a change it can be uh, very good for you so the practice uh, today is uh, very gentle and it, you can do it in your bed actually uh, if you like to practice nourishment uh, I can say yes I love like a, a rug that is very cozy that the texture so you are starting to connect with the sensations of the textures and um, a feeling that you are contained that you are containing yourself and so the nourishment help you to uh, open your heart even if you are in pain emotionally so in that way you are able to sit down with your vulnerabilities and start to feel your emotions and process what is behind that emotions what are behind my triggers why i'm overreacting about situations then you start to do uh, shadow work you started to unravel uh, the elements of, of your subconscious mind that are popping up that are triggering and they are revealing all that emotions that you're feeling and all that reactions and switching from a life driven by emotions to you start to drive your emotions a life drive by your thoughts so you start to drive your thoughts and your emotions because your emotions and your thoughts don't define who you are so you start to, to become the observer of your emotions and your thoughts without judgment without saying this is a bad emotion or this is a bad thought just just observing observing and switching from a reactive mode in your life or like reacting based on your emotions to respond so set a certain emotion if you are totally angry um, or upset observe what you're feeling and take your time take a breath and then analyze why you are getting upset because uh, your emotion is not the problem of the other person is your topic is something that you need to work with yourself because for it start to drive your emotions that don't means that you don't feel it that don't means that you push it down it means that you are sitting down with the emotion and you're feeling yourself and you're processing so let's start the class um, entering is a simple position uh, you can use a blanket to support your toe bones or, or not and you can sit down in your bed and let's start to roll up and bite your shoulders so inhale up and exhale back and this one is that you are starting to open your chest your heart center inhale up and exhale back just to start to uh, bring some oil <laughs> to the joints of, of your shoulders and coming back to center, putting your hands in your knees and started to roll around your pelvis. So it means that you're drawing a big circle around your pelvis. So we are going to start to do um, 
circles around all most of our joints. It's like you're putting oil there. And if at the beginning, exhale at the end. And noticing if you want, you can close your eyes and drop in the sense of vision or enhance the sense of feeling. And exhale. And switching to the opposite side. Inhale at the beginning. And exhale at the end. Connecting your breath with your movement. And discovering which part of you are in resistance and how you can bring nourishment there. And coming back to center, bringing your torso forward, chin up, inhale. Exhale, curving your spine, navel in, chin towards your chest. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Without forcing, just uh, opening yourself more. Noticing where you are feeling the need of more space. And coming back to center. Bringing your hands together, interlacing your fingers and rolling in your wrists or at your joints. So you define your joint in your shoulders, in your wrist, in your hips, in your knees, and watering, nourishing that area. And coming back to center. Now, standing your legs out and bending your knees, holding your knees towards your chest and drawing your spine. Okay, big, big palm tree, breathing in and out. Bringing your hands in your back, opening your knees as we have your hips and wing shift from one side to the opposite side. From one side to the opposite side. From one side to the opposite side. And come back to center. Bringing your right leg at the edge of your mat or just uh, in 45 degrees. And bringing your opposite leg above. If you notice that your opposite knee is lifting up, uh, you can use a blanket or a glove, yoga glove. And drawing up in your spine, we are going to target the piriformis muscle. Uh, I call it the pain in the butt because it's actually is. It's the one that uh, squeezes your uh, sciatica nerve. So it's a very good relief in the morning. And walking towards, you can use the fist of your hands to support. Or you can use a block, a yoga block if you have it. And regulate. Maybe you need to just be in your hands here. You find the level. There is no comparison. This is your story. This is the story of your body. So your body needs nourishment and you become your best friend and you befriend your body. And breathe in there. Where you feel that you are forcing or resisting in your muscles, soften it more. walking slowly 
Don't work yourself. Leaning from one side, side bending from one side. Inhale. Do the opposite side. Inhale on one side. Exhale and the opposite side. And let's just stay on one side for a moment. Lengthening your spine. Shoulders above your ears. Breathe there. Coming back to center to the opposite side. You can also bend your elbow and rest your hand in your head. And notice the space that you are creating in your rib cage. You are putting water, carry in each part of you. And coming back to center, oh, crossing your legs, bending your knees towards your chest, growing your spine, breathe it in, breathe it out, breathe it in, breathe it out. Using your hands in the back, fix a sweep of your hips, reaching from one side to the opposite side. From one side to the opposite side. And coming back to center, now we are going to reverse. If your right leg was the one that you used before, then use your left leg below, right leg above. And there is always a difference from one side to another. There is one side that is more resistant in your body. Notice. What is the side that is more resistant, that has more tension? It's the side that you lean more. So how we can balance that in our body. And inhale deeply, exhale forward. Resting maybe in your forearms, gazing to the ground so you're not overdoing in your neck. Or you can stack your hands and support your forehead if it's available for you. Using your exhale as a way to soften in the areas of tension. Notice how your body starts to open. And slowly coming out to center, extending your arms as far as you can, and bring your one palm towards the sky, gaze toward the palm towards the sky. Extending your arms, extend your palms, extend your fingers, and then do this to the opposite side. Inhale on one side. Exhale in the opposite side. Inhale in one side. Exhale in the opposite side. And coming back to center, roll up and bend your shoulders. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Bringing your hands in the shin and moving forward. Inhale. Exhale, curving your spine. Inhale forward. Exhale, curving your spine. And 
from front to center. Make the side bending from one side. Inhale. Exhale to the opposite side. So in the side bending, uh, bring awareness about to keep your opposite knee close to the floor while you are entering in the, the side bending and keeping your back straight. Breathing in, breathing out. Going to the opposite side. Breathing in. Notice the sensation in your hips, keeping your shoulders away of your ears. And breathe, yes, very important. And coming back to center. Own crossing your legs, bending your knees towards your chest, growing into your spine, take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we go all the way in table. Start turning in table, stacking your feet, either your shoulders, your knees, be your hips. And dropping down your belly, elbows to the sky, chin up, inhale, exhale, chin cap. Inhale, one more. Exhale, chin cap. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, chin cap. And coming back to center. And step back your right leg, gaze into the ground, breathing in, breathing out, crossing your leg over your left, look over your left shoulder, breathing in, breathing out, navel in, coming back to center, and step back your left leg, breathing in, breathing out. I'm just reminding you the importance of that you breathe and connect your breath and crossing your left leg or your right, look over your right shoulder. Breathe here. Coming back to center. Sitting in your heels and opening your legs wide Walking yourself towards child pose. So here in child pose, you have different options. Um, supporting your hands and your, your forehead with your hands, your feet. This is an option. Another option is resting in your forearms or Lengthening your hands, lengthening your arms, resting your forehead. Breathe through your belly. coming back to center. So uh, the practice in yoga is not about perfection in your pose, it's about you uh, discovering what you're feeling today in your body. Because from one day to another it's different. Sometimes your body contracts and sometimes your body expands. It's based in the emotional uh, situation that you are. So coming back to center now, Bend your right elbow up and extend your right arm, leaning in your left hand, breathing in, breathing out. Coming back to center, leaning in your right hand, 
So it's a knife with your right shoulder and bring your left elbow up, extend your left arm. Breathe in. Breathe in. And coming back to center. Extending your right arm up and then threading the needle towards the left side, resting in your right shoulder and bringing your left arm towards the right. Breathe in. And feel this tension in your right shoulder that you're leaning now. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe. Use your exhale as a way to release more. You can be also as an object. You can bring your left hand to support your supinary and feeling the opening in your chest. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. What works better for you? to center, extending your left elbow, extending your left arm, and turning the needle towards the opposite side, and walking your arm towards the left. to center and rolling all the way in your back. Bending your knees and sweep up your hips over in your arms to the side, thumbs and feet to the sky. I want you to go one side to the opposite side. And set your time in each side. So something to release from your solace. to center, bring your right ankle above your left thigh and lift up from the ground. Use your hands in your inner thighs and pull towards you. Breathe there. And your breath will tell you if you are halting or you are entering in a zone of discomfort or you don't have any sensation. Entering the zone of discomfort that don't mean pain and softening more your muscles. And move all the switch your toes your left side. Keeping your shoulder blades in contact with the ground, extending your arms, breathe there. And crossing your legs, opening your knees more wide than your hips. Windshield from one side to the opposite side. Maybe your body is asking you to stay for a moment. In each side, listen and follow the guidance of your body. And move to the opposite side.
arm left to center. Bring your knees and sweep up your hips. Bring your left arm up above your right thigh. Lift up from the ground your right feet. Use your hands and your inner thighs towards you. Breathe there. Softening your shoulders, keeping your elbows close to your body. And remember nourishment, how you can nourish yourself. Found in a cozy cocoon for you to take care of yourself, to hold a space for you to be in full vulnerability. And a space that you feel comfy, cozy, protected, safe to unfold and sit down with your emotions. And move all the structure towards your right side. Sometimes your knee is coming close to you, so you can use your head to keep it away. Breathing in, breathing out. Oh yes, open your arms to the side. to put expectation of others to care for you and give you the nourishment. Practice to give you nourishment each day so you all don't feel depleted when you are giving your attention to yourself. You're caring. to center on crossing on bringing your knees more wide than your hips reach you from one side to the opposite side give time to your body to open use your breath as a way to release move to the opposite side. Coming back to center, bending your knees towards your chest. Lifting up your head, bringing your nose close to your knees, shoulders away from your ears. Breathing in, breathing out. Dropping back your head, extending your legs out, and preparing for Shavasana. If you are in your bed, lifting up your chest, shoulder blades together, arms to the side. Hands looking to the sky, feeling the weight of your hands in the floor, feeling the weight of your legs in the floor, feeling the weight of your torso in the floor and your head, and starting to become more supported, feeling that you are fully supported in the ground, feeling that you are not carrying any weight of your body, that you are being carried by your floor, softening your eyes, taking a deep heart, and then exhale. And just feeling the sensation of this cozy, comfy moment that you are nurturing yourself. 
this moment that you are not pretending, you are trying so hard, and you are just sitting down with yourself, and you are just doing this. And take your time in Shavasana. I thank you for joining me in this practice today. And remember the importance of nourishing yourself. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.